welcome to Brown Eyes Tarot and Poetry. On this channel, I share my artwork, my thoughts, and general tarot readings in hopes of spreading healing and love. Today, we will be doing a pick a card reading. Hello, and welcome to Brown Eyes Tarot and Poetry. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a pick a card reading for a love letter from your person. So, um, just a disclaimer, keep in mind this is a general reading, this is not a personal reading, so if it doesn't resonate with you, um, just go ahead and go to a different YouTube video or YouTube reader, or you can ask me for a personal reading, okay? Alright, so, before we get started, I want you to close your eyes and take a deep breath in. Go ahead and let that breath go and slowly open your eyes and focus on what pile you think is meant for you. This will be a love letter from your person. Um, the person you have in mind can be a non-romantic relationship, but I just want to let you know now I am focusing more on romance. But if um, something else comes out that you feel like is meant for you, then go ahead and take that as well. All right, you're going to choose out of pile one, pile two, pile three. I shouldn't do it like that. <laughs> and pile four. If you need a moment to pause the video or rewind or look at the cards again, please do so. But um, we're going to go ahead and get started on the reading. Okay, so if you chose pile number one, this is the love letter from your person. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I have little words written on the side. So I'm just going to read from that first and then dive into um, a letter where I'll be speaking as if I'm that person. Okay. All right. We have victory, legal triumphs, hard won battles, creative endeavors, good news, and success. And this card is the Six of Wands. So this might have been a relationship that it's been um, either off and on again or. Uh, it could just be you guys go through a lot of ups and downs in your relationship. All right, let's get started. Um, I love you so much. I'm so attracted to you. Sometimes I feel like you're not as attracted to me, though. I feel like there's times where you're still focused on your ex. Um, it makes me feel a little insecure at times. I think we need a vacation. Maybe we just need to get away with each other, get away from everyone and everything so we can focus on us again. There's so many factors it feels like keep getting in the way of us. And I just want it to be me and you. I want to let go of all these uh, things that's blocking us and stopping us. Sometimes it feels like it's just not meant to be anymore. I have so much passion and desire for you. It is crazy. It's like I want you all the time. You're always on my mind. I feel like I have to protect myself at times. I feel like I have to put on this tough front. But at the end of the day, I have so much love for you. I don't know why I can't drop my guard down and show it all the time. I just want you all to myself like I don't care what I say I don't care what I say out of anger I just want you all to myself all the time and sometimes that's why I do things that I shouldn't or say things that I shouldn't all in an attempt to keep you to myself I really feel like this <laughs> we're in a bad space right now we just keep getting bad luck I think the things between us just can't work out. Luck is not on our side when it comes to this relationship, but I want it so, so, so badly. 
I feel like if I could just take charge and grow some confidence and do everything that I need to do that you'll come back to me or that we can reconnect in a deeper way that we used to. I will do anything to bring you happiness and to bring you back to me or back to the place we used to be. I would just hurt you more not right now. I need to be alone. I need to find this confidence. I need a little bit of space because things seem so crazy and I feel so weak and insecure. I know you're the person for me though. I know you're my other half. I just need a little time before I can get the courage to be who you need me to be. It's easier to stay away now than to lose you later. I really need this time to myself. I always hope to have you in my life. I told you you're the one for me. I don't want anyone else. Things just seem like they can't go right. I just want you here by my side right now, even though it's not the right time. You're always so sweet to me, even when I don't deserve it. You're my favorite work of art. You're so beautiful and loving and caring. All I ever wanted and needed is in you. That's why I'm so insecure. What do I have to offer you? Can you handle all of my scars, all of my pain, all of this stuff that I've been trying to hide from you? I feel like I've been missing you my whole life. You're my lost paradise. I feel like I just keep losing you again and again and again. I wasn't looking for this at all when I met you. I don't know how to deal with this. I don't know how to react. This love is so great. I want you close to me, but I'm not ready for a commitment. Not because I don't want you, but because I'm too insecure. I don't feel like I'm enough for you. I'm not ready to talk. I will only just push you away and say something stupid and say something I don't mean. I do want you though. Trust and believe that. I look for you everywhere. I hope to bump into you sometimes. Sometimes I look for messages from you or I check my phone even though I know you're not going to text me because I should be the one texting you. I want to spend every second of the day with you. I just know I can't right now. All right, that was the end of your love letter. Sounds really sad. I'm sorry, loves. I'm going to go ahead and pull some quick advice for you. And let me know if you guys like this. This is um, my first time trying a reading like this. So if you like it, let me know and I will keep doing it. All right, advice for pile number one, Spirit. What advice do you have for pile number one? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Bottom of the deck, energy, letting go. Holding on and hoping situations or people will change is preventing the natural ending. Letting go will allow new people or situations into your life that will resonate to where you are now. Okay. Spirit wants you to know not to let this um, reading confuse you, conflict you, or change your mind on anything. Um, you definitely have to let this person go. This person knows it as well. They know it's not the right time for you guys. Um, don't let their messages or their desire for you kind of keep you in this waiting on the bubble and hoping that, you know, they'll change or they'll fix it or something's going to come of this. Um, Spirit wants you to just kind of do your own thing and focus on you. Let this person go. If it's meant to be, it will definitely come back. If they do the work that they need to do, you know. Um, or Spirit might have someone way, way, way better for you that you wouldn't have even imagined. Sacred space. Create a sacred place in your home or office just for you. Have items in this space that has meaning to you touch you on a deeper level and have a candle the candle is creator's love for you use this space daily even if only for a few minutes to be with spirit this will give you peace and grounding that is needed as well as greater knowledge okay 
so find a place in your house and just chill there um put stuff around you that remind you of love pictures of loved ones um things from your childhood whatever it is and just sit there a minute or two will do every day um, to kind of um regain your peace you know because this situation seems like it was a lot and um it took a lot from you so one way of starting the healing process is is that suggestion masculine energy male energy action doing creating forcing in nature it balances with feminine energy beautifully when this energy is not balanced there is no room for the feminine energy to flow and for more trust love and nurturing okay so spirit wants you to be more assertive you have a lot of feminine energy everybody has both masculine and feminine energy but yours needs to be balanced right now um you've been more passive and loving and and spirit wants you to kind of take control and, and be strong in this moment sorry it's so funny i did this and then there's a power card <clears throat> right there for you all right what else spirit? grounding your energy needs to be centered connect to the divine and oh, i'm sorry connect to the divine and now and not outside influences meditation energy work nature are being asked of you at this time so that goes along with that sacred space you really need to heal your energy heal your heart um, kind of clear your mind and um, spirit doesn't want you to go out partying or to look to friends at this time they just really want you to center yourself creativity when we acknowledge and act on our impulse to create we are aligning we are aligning with spirit in this energy you can feel the flow of being on your highest path so um you know if you're feeling like oh you need some company or something instead of going to your friends like spirit said this is time for you to um be alone and kind of reconnect so uh, draw um i don't know what type of art you do but clearly you do something with creativity coming out so draw sing um write uh, do whatever creative thing that you do whether it's do-it-yourself home projects whatever it is um and it'll help transformation major things are coming do not fight them they are a path to wholeness opportunities and growth you really um this goes along with that card that i remember of letting go um, you're on the brink of a transformation um, of a lot of things changing in your life and for you uh, one of the biggest hurdles right now is letting this person go so that everything can start flowing healing energy work with energy on a healing level take a class work with reiki or do meditation let creators love fill you the love you feel will spread out onto others there's also it could be healing taking place in a relationship a lot of people don't realize that sometimes letting go like your person said is um the best way to start healing the relationship sometimes you have to let it go because you have to heal things within yourself to heal the relationship but all right um prayer feather gather your inner forces and love deeply and fully with every ounce of your being even if someone isn't fulfilling your expectations speaks to your situation directly there slow but steady don't rush the situation when you try to speed it up you bypass the opportunity for a perfect outcome miss the lesson or experience that is being called for this is where you are meant to be at the moment let things unfold at their own pace i feel like this message goes both ways to um the situation as far as how you react to it um what i mean by that is if you're trying to rush this situation and this person to come back to you um you're rushing things and you're about to miss opportunities that are coming to you and you're not paying attention to the path that you're on right now and this journey is teaching you and molding you in different ways that you need to just resonate in this moment right now and also vice versa with that if you're trying to rush healing rush getting past this person rush being over this person like oh uh, i'm not even dealing with that person no more whatever forget it you're gliding past all the the um 
all of the steps I want to say steps but uh, it's, not, it's another word but you're you're going past all the steps that you need to to get to where you want to be if that makes sense um, you're you're jumping past actually going through the healing you're jumping past actually finding a way to love yourself through pain you're jumping past through growing a connection with spirit you're jumping past seeing your own worth and learning it and enjoying you know there's just so many things that come with the process of healing versus I loved this person now I'm over them like there's so much in between that all right and that's all that I have for you um, thank you so much for visiting my page and trusting me with um, this reading and your emotions I'm sending you so much love and light until next time if you chose pile two this is your reading um as you can see i have little messages or um, notes here about this card written along the side so i'm just going to read that first and then jump into your reading where i will be speaking as if i'm your person all right we have young man charming brilliant creative adventure easily distracted failure to follow through and dislike of rules and this is the son of wands also like the knight of wands <laughs> okay so um the thing the one thing that stands out is the dislike of rules so maybe this person had trouble committing or had trouble showing commitment and um line of you know the rules <laughs> like what comes with commitment maybe they uh this person was saying like they're committed and they they love you and stuff like that but their actions weren't showing it and um, they couldn't understand like why they had to do it your way probably all right let's get started into this reading <laughs> right as I said that let go of control issues man I just want to do things my way why do you have to be in control of everything you know I love you let's just do our own thing do make it ours we don't have to go by any rules or anything that's set in stone I love you I just want to love you I want you to let me love you you can trust me it's safe for you to love me it's safe for you to let go and put your walls down I'm not gonna hurt you I feel like um, sometimes I present myself as this wonderful person to where I put the pedestal too high and you want me to live up to these high standards that I just can't live up to. It's, it's fool's gold. I can't do it. Um, sometimes it makes me want to say, well, if you want some, if you, that's what you're looking for, go find somebody else. But I know I wouldn't mean it because I really do love you. I want to be with you. I want us to win. I want us to be together. I want to have victory with you. I just feel like there's ways about me that you feel like are sneaky and you can't trust me. <laughs> but I just want to love you. I want to reassure you and give you peace and healing and let you know that I am here for you. I get so jealous all the time of people giving you attention and showing you attention and I feel like you have so many options besides me and it drives me crazy and that's why I don't understand why you have all these rules for me because there's so many people who want your attention and and show you attention I just hope that you could forgive me for all the things that I've done to you, all the things that I've said. I really do love you, and I really, really, really want this to work. I want it to work so bad. I'm sorry I made you cry. I'm sorry that I said those things that I said. They were just out of jealousy. Forgive me, I have never felt this way before. I do not know how to act. I've never been in love before. I don't know how to act 
I don't know what to do when I feel these feelings. I've had sleepless nights caught between confusion and pain. Because I know I've hurt you, but I know I'm really just hurting myself whenever I hurt you. I'm so confused. I feel like just letting this go. I feel like sometimes I just don't think we could work out even though I want you so bad. I'm not ready for commitment with anyone. Or at least that's what I tell you. I'm not ready for commitment with anyone, but if, if I could, I would choose you. I can listen to your voice for days on end because I'm really in love with you. I never thought it could happen, but it has. It's like we're star-crossed cross lovers. Will we ever make it work? I feel like we keep making it difficult on each other. I didn't fall in love with you because I have always loved you and always will. From the moment I first interacted with you, I knew there was something special about you. I just couldn't figure out what it was or why. I'm drawn to your deep intelligence and wisdom. Even though I may have said some bad things about it or made you feel like you weren't so intelligent and you weren't so wise, that's the thing I'm actually most attracted to you by. I can't be tied down right now. I have too many interests. I have too many people on me all the time. <laughs> I know I'm not going to do right if I get in a relationship right now. The, the other people or the other opportunities are just so tempting. I feel trapped. Or feeling trapped pushes me away. Please give me some space. I was really hoping that we could start a relationship and be together, but the more that you put restrictions on me, the more I just wanted to leave and feel like I didn't want to be in a commitment no more. But that was the wrong choice because I miss you so much. I've been in my head about you constantly. I want to be more than friends. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I didn't trust that you had true intentions with me. I didn't trust that you could actually like and love me back. But you came closer to anyone when it came to getting me tied down and in a commitment and getting me to open up and drop all these guards. No matter what, I still see you as my baby. I always will, I'll always see you as mine. I can't believe I will never get to touch you again. I really want you back. I gotta touch you again. You're my soulmate. It's you stopping this from happening, not me. I want it to work. I want to get back together. <laughs> I just don't love you anymore. I tell you that all the time, or I may say it or write it, but I'm lying to you and myself. That's me again, playing games, putting up defenses and saying stupid stuff. Out of jealousy and out of pain. Alright, that was the end of the love letter. Oh my gosh, I just want to say this person is so immature. There is so much about this that reads narcissist. But, um, you know, to each his own, I don't know the full situation, but it does seem like this person um, feels like they might love you or be in love with you, but they are too immature. They don't know how to love, how to reciprocate love. They don't know how to communicate. They don't know what it means to be in a relationship. There's just so much going against it. And anytime they realize they lack those things, they flip it and blame you. So, um, take, take that letter as, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that other than that. Um, I was getting irritated doing the letter at some point. I wanted to just stop because I feel like this person doesn't even deserve, you know, a chance to speak, but, um, speak to you or get these messages to you basically. Um, cause it's just more of confusion and 
um, head games and gaslighting. That's all I see through this whole thing. It's just like, you know, we could have been something. I really did want you, but you know, you were just too much. You just did too much. But hey, I was over here cheating or giving other people attention or not committing to you fully. But this is all your fault because like, it was just so stupid. Oh my gosh, okay. Anyways, last but not least, I am going to get advice from Spirit this reading up um if you want you can reach out to me for a personal reading because i am nosy if this resonated with you i want to get to the bottom of it too <laughs> or you know what better yet if this actually resonated with you and this is actually someone's story please put in the comments what happened and what's going on because i i'm nosy as hell all right messages from spirit i'm sorry advice from spirit Feminine energy, masculine energy. All right, advice from spirit for pile two. All right, I keep forgetting transformation. Okay, I've already seen two of the same cards that fell out for pile one. So, um, if you were kind of torn between pile one and pile two. I would probably check out pile one as well. The bottom of the deck says burdens, taking on too many burdens. When we take on others' burdens, we deny them the ability to learn and grow from their own lessons and interfere with divine planning. Learn to say no gently. You don't got to take on other people's burdens. You don't got to take the blame or responsibility for anything that's not yours emotional release voice your feelings even if it's just to yourself find a way to where you can safely feel your emotions accept them and then let them go so you can heal and move on yeah because this person clearly doesn't give you you know the floor to say anything tracker focus on your intent and passions on one thing instead of being scattered in different directions know what is truly important in your life and then let everything else go I'm really getting the message of like not to focus on this person this relationship or love anymore like you have some things that are on your plate already and spirit wants you to focus and put more energy into that anger is based in fear when anger enters your life go beneath the surface and try to address the fear that has triggered it it's pretty direct growth rapid growth at this time okay i'm not gonna ignore it i just want to say i don't know if this person had anger issues with you um or would flash on you a lot but i really got that message from this card as well um i was trying to ignore it but i'm just say it say say whatever i feel all right <laughs> growth rapid growth at this time the seeds you have planned have taken root i said seeds let me start again Rapid growth at this time. The seeds you have pl planted have taken root. Go with the flow. People and situations may start to fall away as they no longer serve you. Be grateful for what they brought to you and let them move on. I don't feel like that just includes this person. A lot of toxic people in, in your life probably let them go. They brought what they brought in the moment that they brought it and now it's over. Letting go, hold on, holding on and hoping situations or people will change is preventing the natural ending. Let go. Letting go will allow new people or situations into your life that will resonate to where you are right now. Transformation. Major changes are coming. Do not fight them. They are a path to wholeness, opportunities, and growth. Okay, well, that was the end of your reading. I'm sending you so much love and light. Um, I thank you for visiting my channel. And until next time. Okay, hi, if you chose pile three, this is your reading. Um, I have a couple of notes about this card written along the sides. So I'm going to start by reading those notes. i um, getting a little feel and energy of uh, the reading. And then I will be speaking as if I'm your person talking to you. Okay. We have one's fort. 
apprenticing, learning a new skill, working towards self-improvement, and gaining skills. And we have the Three of Pentacles. This really gives me the energy of someone learning how to love, maybe um, new at loving, new at expressing themselves, maybe someone working on themselves to be able to um, come to you. That's all I got so far. Now let's start. Oh, that was kind of nasty, sorry. Unrequited love. Oh my goodness. I feel like this love is one-sided. I feel like I have so much love for you that you do not reciprocate. I have so much passion for you. It's crazy. It's almost like I'm obsessed with you. I feel like you're holding back for me for some reason and I just want you to be free and to let go and love me and open up to me. You deserve love. I don't know if you're fighting this or fighting me because you feel like you don't, but you deserve love and you deserve me. I'm ready to open up my heart to you and to love you. Oh my gosh, I am so ready to just be everything you ever wanted. I want to create when I'm with you. I want to love and hold you and touch you and just be everything to you in the moment I'm around you. And I always want to be around you. Sometimes I'm a little conflicted with what's going on between us. I don't know whether to stay and fight for this or to move on and move past it. I really think that I have to do some more soul searching or maybe you have to do some more soul, soul searching so that you can realize I'm the one for you. If I could, I would get down on one knee right now and ask you to marry me. If I knew you would say yes. I feel like we could have so much success together. We could be that power couple. I just need you to open up and talk to me more. I want to tell you all that I feel for you, but I'm scared it might scare you away. Because I don't feel like you feel the same about me right now. But I have so much feelings for you that I want to express. And I hope you express them back. I can see eternity in your eyes. I want to spend eternity with you. You're worth fighting for. I no longer have to guess or wonder about if it's worth fighting for. You are. No one lights me up and inspires me like you do, and that's worth the fight. I am burning with passion for you. I have so much passion for you that I can't stop saying it. I love everything about you. I love your body. I love the way you look. I love the way you look at me. Everything that you do just ignites me. The taste of your presence is something I will never, ever be able to forget. I'm so sorry about three. This person nasty. <laughs> I want to taste you all the time. A thousand lifetimes with you would never be enough. I am so in love with you. It's like we share the same mind and heart. I feel like we're one. You're the person that I've been looking for. I've never cared so deeply for someone before. It's a little scary, but I like it. Thinking about you makes me emotional. And I want to open up to you about how I'm feeling. I'm just scared that you won't say you feel the same way. I feel like you've moved on without me and that's difficult for me to see. I feel like you're no longer interested. This, If I have seem like I've given 
helped you space this isn't about you i'm just working through um, a personal issue i'm working through the confidence to tell you how i feel because like i said i'm scared you don't feel the same way i hide behind material things i may buy you too much but or say too much or seem like i'm trying to buy your love but i'm just really trying to show you how much i care for you i am grateful for the spiritual lesson that you have given me for the true love that you have shown me i lost myself for a little while in you but now i'm back and i'm ready to show you that i can be the person that you want me to be i can be everything to you i could be everything to you that you've been to me I don't know. Well, I didn't know what love was before you. I'm afraid that I'll hurt you by what I say, what I have to tell you if you're not ready for all of this. I'm afraid that, you know, if, if you don't feel the same way, I might have to end things. I don't feel like I'm good enough yet, but I want you anyway. I want I want this. And I'm just working up the courage to tell you. I'm working up the courage to tell you everything that I feel. I don't feel like I'm quite, quite ready to say it just yet, but I'm working on it. I wish I was still in your life. Or, oh, oh, this is surprising. Sorry, sorry, pile three. This is the only pile I started talking through and lost character. I wish I was still in your life. I wish we were still a part of each other's lives in the same way. Right, pile three that was your letter from your person i just want to say I, I feel like this last part was for um this one was for people who are not in communication with this person and i did feel that energy a little bit while doing the reading i feel like a lot of people that will resonate with this pile are still in communication and are together but the um their person is just hiding their true feelings and how much they actually care for them and for some of you, um, you guys are not talking at all. This was a breakup or a split up or something. And this is them revealing their feelings for you of how they still love you so much, even though they're not in contact with you right now. And if they are, they're just like dry as shit. Like they don't care, but they really do. All right. Advice from spirit for pile number three i just want to say while i was doing that reading i did get a little choked up so this person whoever it is has a lot of love for you um i i can't i can't say it in any other words they have a lot of a lot of love for you a lot of passion they want to come towards you and say all of these things they just feel like they can't do it right now all right advice from spirit for pile number three cards i feel like this pile is probably this pile will probably end up being the most picked pile and so um listen to these advice cards and whatever whichever ones resonate with you take them and if they don't just go ahead and leave it leave the message here for someone else um discernment let the energy of the situation flow through you note where you have i'm sorry note where you feel the effects of the energy as it courses through your body as these affect as these effects yours what oh sorry are these effects yours or have you picked up another's energy your body will never lie to you so are you feeling your own feelings or are you feeling the energy from them burdens taking on too many burdens when we take on others burdens we deny them the ability to learn and grow from the from their own lessons and interfere with divine planning learn to gently say no joy balanced energies happy and joyous times 
So happiness is coming to you soon, pile three. Gather your inner forces and love deeply and fully with every ounce of your being, even if someone is not fulfilling your expectations. Forgiveness. Forgive yourself for trusting others and getting hurt, for not knowing, not seeing, not believing. You are human and not perfect. Forgiveness or self I'm sorry, forgiveness of self is difficult but can cause harm when it's left undone. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, some of you guys in this pile definitely split up. Spirit wants you to forgive that person, forgive yourself. Forgiving that person doesn't mean you have to accept them back in your life. It doesn't mean that you guys have to get back together. But spirit does want you to forgive them. Um, tracker, look focus your intent and passions on one thing instead of being scattered in different directions know what is truly important in your life and then let everything else go abilities the healing work you have been doing is strengthening the energy around you and others listen to your body for the feelings of right and wrong allow the energy to flow to tap into your psyche you may want to take some classes or, or workshops on psychic development, so you may have some psychic abilities of your own, or you may be like an empath or something, especially with this discernment card with the abilities, feeling other people's emotion. You may want to look into that. That's only for some people. Sacred space created a... Ugh, what is wrong with my mouth? I think I'm just tired. Sorry, pile three. Create a sacred place in your home or office just for you. Have items in this space that has meaning to you and touch you on a deep level. And have a candle there. The candle is creator's love for you. Use this space daily, even only for a few minutes, to be with spirit. This will give you peace and grounding that is needed as well as greater knowledge. Okay? Last but not least, masculine energy action doing creating forcing in nature it balances with feminine energy beautifully when this energy is not balanced there is no room for the feminine energy to flow all of all for more trust love and nurturing all allow allow for more trust love and nurturing jesus also could be an important man coming into your life Okay, so <laughs> that was your reading pile three. I am so sorry I started jumbling through it towards the end. I am sending you so much love and light. Let me know if this resonated. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye. Well, if you chose pile four, this is your reading. So I'm going to start by reading these little notes here I have along the card. And then I will jump right into your reading where I will be reading as if I am your person. Okay, so this card is the Four of Wands. We have New Home, Rest, Refuge, um, Alignment, Harvest, harm Harmony, Prosperity, and Work Completed. So whoever this is is very happy with you. I feel like this is going to be a good reading. Um... <laughs> If they're not happy with you, they're definitely happy that they moved on finally. So let's see which one it is. I'm so happy that I took the time to heal the issues that um, I was going through before I met you. Because before I met you, I was very immature and I had a lot of immature ways. But now that I've healed all of my issues, I've met you and I feel like you could actually be the one for me. And it was perfect timing. It was it happened right after all of the BS that I went through and healed from. <laughs> I really feel like this was a gift like you were just given to me as a new gift a new opportunity like you had to be like a gift from God sent down to me for all that I've been through you are so kind you're so nurturing you're so powerful you are the epitome of what I feel like 
love should be. Love and care and nurturing should be. I spend a lot of time alone and thinking about my feelings and how I feel about you and growing and growing um, and learning about myself. I've worked so hard to get to where I am right now and out of nowhere you came and turned into a wonderful blessing that I never would have expected. I have struggled so much in the world and now I feel like you're just the blessing that I deserve after all this fight, after all this struggle. I really feel like this is an answer to my prayers, like like I manifested you somehow. Like I hoped and prayed on someone like you and here you are. <laughs> here you are after my long journey of all the all of this heartache and and hard times. You are my rock. I feel like I can depend on you and lean on you and count on you to be there. You help me see into what I can be, what I can grow into. With When I'm with you, I feel like there's no limits to what my future holds. I feel like if you just give me a little bit more time that I could be enough for you. I could be everything that you want me to be. I'm still, I just, just, just finished up healing and I feel like I'm just healing up a little bit more time, a little bit more stuff. And I just need a little bit more time before I, I just really probably ask you to be mine forever. Your beauty cascades all over me. I love looking at you. I'm taking my time. We have all the time in the world, so I'm moving slow. Even though I feel all this passion, and I know you're probably ready for it. I know you feel it too, but we have all the time in the world. Just give me a little bit more time. I'm, I'm getting some things in order right now, and then we will be each other's forever how can i ever pay you back for the love you've given me for the love you've shown me for opening up my eyes to seeing the world so much better than i used to it's heartbreaking that we can't have more than what we do now that i can't offer you the world right now but i will i'll be able to real soon I want to be there for you and take care of you. I want the capability to be the person that is your everything. You will never want for nothing. I want more with you one day, more than what we have. I want forever with you. I promise you that that's what I'm going to give to you someday. Someday soon. Because I need you. I'm just unavailable and unable to do that right now but i promise you i am working on it and i am so so close we both know i'm not the one for you but you're the one for me like i said you're the one that i dreamed of you're the one I, that i prayed for and i'm working on being everything that you need because i'm gonna pay you back and give you back everything you've given to me tenfold because the love you've given me is so amazing I know that I crossed the line with you in the past I know I've done some stupid stuff in the past I really wish I had treated you better I wish I had known everything that I know now I really regret lying to you about some of the dumb stuff that I didn't even have to lie to you about. I want to forgive you, but I can't. I don't, um, sorry, group four, I don't feel like, I feel like this is backwards. 
I'm going to re-say it. Sorry for getting out of character. Um, I want you to forgive me, but I know you can't. I'm making myself better for you. Please wait for me. Please don't let go of me just yet. All right, and that was your reading for pile four. Okay, so I have I see a lot of similarities between three and four, but um, four, unlike pile three, this person is really, really, really genuine, and um, it seems like it may be a split between people who are currently together, and um, this person is working towards you know eventually getting to the getting down to like I'm about to propose to this person and for others of you this is a split up or a breakup and they are wanting you back and they're working up the courage to um to ask to be together again because they want to they want it to be more than what it is just now okay um wow this Whoever this person is, which regardless of the situation, they really have a lot of love for you. And it seems so genuine. I did not get any energy like they're playing games. I didn't get any energy like they have any ill will or ill intentions. Like, yeah, this person is, um, they are coming to you definitely genuine and straightforward, um, Again, that's why I, I'm like, there's a few similarities to Pile 3, but Pile 3's person was a jerk. <laughs> and this person seems like they are so genuine and they just honestly made a mistake. If you guys are split up, and if you guys aren't, they're just literally focused on making enough money and being able to provide for you and be stable enough, you know, for an, a marriage. All right, we're going to lastly take some cards for advice from spirit for pile four. Advice from, from spirit for pile four, please. Okay. Thank you so much, spirit. All right. Bottom of the deck says, all is well. By not attaching labels or expectations to people and situations, you allow pure and divine energy to flow. Be thankful for the experience that is happening. Look for the silver lining. Wow. Well, whatever was going on in this situation, you handled it the right way and you're just letting things flow. You're going with the flow and that's wonderful. Spirit is congratulating you for that. Ancient wisdom. You carry the answers within you. Come to peace with who you are and what you have to offer in a situation. Okay. Joy. Balanced energies, happy and joyous times. So you got you guys got some joyous times coming between you guys. That's awesome. Okay. Ancestors. Your ancestors are bringing you much support at this time. Guidance and wisdom will be coming to you. Ashe, yes, I love that. So they're, they're definitely, your ancestors are, are um, definitely helping you guys come together and kind of fix this or kind of stay strong while you guys are going through this um, time. For, uh, for those who are split up, for those who are not, your ancestors are there just blessing you and keeping you protected and guiding you guys in this relationship. Reunion of the souls. A reunion of a soulmate. Could be a friend, lover, parent, or child. Wow. So, for those of you guys who are not together, Spirit really wants to reiterate that this person is trying to come back. And they have plans to come back with the reunion of the souls. Abilities. The healing work you have been doing is strengthening the energy around you and others. Listen to your body for the feeling, feelings of right and wrong. Allow the energy to flow to tap into your psyche. You may want to take some la lessons or classes or workshops on psychic abilities. So just like pile three, um, you may have some psychic abilities of your own. So you should look into that. Um, I don't know, you might be a tarot reader yourself. 
integration listen to your inner voice it is warning you that another person's energy is not matching with their words or actions pay attention to your instincts about a situation or person okay so this is very direct message for some of you some of you like i said i kept mentioning pile three some of you guys picked this pile and it honestly was not meant for you you need to go back and listen to pile three listen to your inner voice because this may be how this pile four's reading came out may be what you want it may be something that you need you needed to hear but it's not the truth for your situation so go and watch pile three and watch this pile and really um listen to your inner voice and see what which one resonates with you more okay because um yeah it's warning you that another person's energy is not matching there is nothing in this reading nothing in this reading that was not genuine <laughs> so um this really makes me think back to pile three and if you picked pile four um please please if any part of you is wondering or doubting about this message that i read for you please go to pile three um and see and see what what that pile says because that one yeah all right <laughs> i'm sorry thank you guys so much for trusting me with your reading i am so happy i'm sending you so 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 much love and light even though pile four you do not need it you got it coming your way already <laughs> all right until next time bye brown eyes Tell